Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I'm here, as you can see by my sign behind me, I'm here with my NFL Week 8 picks. <laughs> Week 8, let's bring it on, but first let's recap how I'm doing on the year and based on how I did last week. Yeah, week 7 was a huge week for the, for the sportsman. I had a, uh, what was it, 10 and 4. I went 10 and 4 last week. I got 10 out of 14 games right. And if I had just been smart enough to stop picking against the Steelers, a trend which will end this week, I uh, I would have I would have gone 11 and three. So anyway, on the year that makes me a combined 62 and 43, and I'm back at 590. So I am 10 hundredths of a point or whatever. I don't know how it is. I was really never good at math, but. It just uh, 10 more points and I'm back at 600, which I was never at at all. I don't know, maybe week one? No, week one I was terrible. So yeah, I haven't even hit 600 yet. So I can get to 600 if I can have another good, if I can have a good week. So with that, let's get into what we're looking at for this week. The first game is the Falcons at the Panthers. The Panthers, man, they've been playing really good. And these guys, even under a new coach, no. So I'm going to go with the Panthers. I mean, they lost. I think they lost last week. Did they lose last week? Um, anyway, um, I think they did. And they lost to the Bears as well. In fact, I think that was the... Wasn't that last week's loss? To the Bears? Don't remember. But anyway. So, yeah. But they are... They're a decent team. They're a decent team. You really can't... Uh, you know what? You can't say that. About the Falcons. Not at this point. So now we've got the, the next game we have is the Vikings at the Packers. Now, who am I going to pick here? Yeah. I'm going to pick the Pack. Go with the Pack. These guys are just, they're horrible. <laughs> so, yeah, they're not going to win anything. Um, then you got the... Titans at the Bengals, and um, in this one, I'm going to go with the Titans. I know that they lost last week to Pittsburgh, the chagrin of it all, but, and I did pick them to win, and they still didn't, but they are five and, what are they, five and one, six and one, something like that, and uh, these guys, no. They're not, they're not there yet. Burrow, I love Burrow, but he's the only good player on the team. So, you know, yeah. So we are going to uh, put these guys in the garbage. Next one you got is my lock of the week, as it is every week, the game that involves the Jets. Doesn't matter who the Jets play. Like I've said, they could play Vestal High School. They could play, hey... My Ohio State Buckeyes, they would still lose. Um, and I have the Ohio State jersey on to commemorate the fact that, hey, Big Ten football is back. But in this matchup, yeah, let's go with the Chiefs. Let's pretty safely go with the Chiefs on that one. And uh, if there was ever a garbage can made for a team, it's the Jets. 
So the next one we got is the um, Colt at the Lions. And in this one, I'm going to go with the Colts. I'm going with the Colts on this. I think that they, uh, I'm, they've still got a really good defense. These guys have won two weeks in a row after losing every other game before that. But they're still... Not a good team, so no. The next one we've got is, oh yeah, yeah. We have the Steelers at the Ravens. And uh, my buddy Tom is going to hate this pick. He's going to hate it. But I'm going with the Steelers. Uh -huh, no, 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 no. Because I have been burned by them consecutively. For the last few weeks. Not that the Ravens are not a good team. They are. I'm not putting them in the trash can. No. They're not going in the can. But they have to. I mean, you know. I, they they don't seem to really rise to the occasion when they play the good teams. And I am starting to realize that Pittsburgh is a lot better than I gave them credit for. So Tom Bunch, yes. You're going to hate it. Because this probably means that the Steelers are going to lose their first game of the year. Although... I think I did pick the Steelers in one game this year. Maybe when they played the Giants, I might have picked the Steelers that week. And they won. So you never know. The next one we have is the Rams at the Dolphins. And um, I'm going to go with the Rams in this one. They just beat the Bears. The Bears have a good defense. But they still look pretty impressive even against them. And the Dolphins are sitting Fitzmagic. And they're going to their guy out of, um, what was it, Alabama? I think he's out of Alabama, Tuo, Tuha. I, I don't know how you pronounce his name. Sorry. Um, Tua Tugaliago. I don't know what his name is. But they're going with him over Fitzmagic. So I'm not trusting that until I see the guy actually play a few downs you know what i'm saying all right now the next one we have is the patriots at the bills now in this one i'm going with the bills i am going with the bills even though i've heard the guys on pro football talk if you watch pro football talk mike florio and chris sims Chris Sims seems to think that this is a great matchup for the Patriots because the Bills can't stop the run and the Patriots run well and the Bills only pass and the Patriots have a good pass defense. That may be so, but we're still talking about a very good Bills team against a very lackluster and not very good so far Patriots team, so I'm not doing that. I'm not falling for that, even though my man, Dave Mazzini, one of my other buddies, would say it's all about the matchups, and you got to go with the matchups, but I'm not. Not this week. Not when you're talking Bills Patriots. I just can't do it. So, the next one we have is the Raiders at the Browns. Now, in this one... I'm going to go with the Raiders. I just I just got a feeling I'm going to go with the Raiders on this one. Even though the Browns have shown a high scoring offense. They have one of the higher scoring offenses in the NFL right now. And Baker Mayfield, much to my chagrin, looks like he, that's the second time I've used the word chagrin. And probably this time I used it correctly. Um, but Baker Mayfield is starting to come around he's starting to be he's starting to play within the system and within himself and he's not trying to do too much and he's actually becoming dare i say it pretty good so the next one we have is saint at the bears and uh yeah if you've been following this program with the nfl weekly picks you know i'm going with the saints we played them in the third game. Everybody played three quarters. The Bears are who we thought they were. 
That's why we took the damn field. But really, I think the Bears proved last week that when you put them up, I mean, I think they really did prove that the 5-1 and one record they had was smoke and mirrors and luck and a relatively weak schedule. But these guys, if they're on, now I will say this, if the Saints are off, because they've been off a couple of weeks here, they have played not Saints-like football for a couple of weeks. If they play like that, the Bears might win. But, and you know, and you never know what team's going to show up, but you can't assume the bad version's going to show up. So, but the Bears, offensively, they only have a bad version. So they have a they have a Trubisky version, and then they have the slightly better um, Nick Foles version. But the Saints are up here, so I'm going to go with the Saints because I think the Bears are proving that when they go up against really good competition. Because of their offense, they're just not, they're not up to the task. So now we have the 49ers at the Seahawks. And the 49ers have really been playing some good ball lately. It seems like they got plug and play running backs. They just grab running backs from out of the stands and they can still run the ball. But I'm still going to go with the Seahawks. The Seahawks almost beat the Cardinals. They went into overtime. And um, it, that was a really good game against a really good up and coming and probably already here. Yes, I'm going to say it. Say it. I'm going to do that for my brother who keeps ra razzing me about the, uh, about the Cardinals. Yes, they're already here. They're not up and coming. They've come, they knocked on your door, they knocked it down, they came in and they're helping themselves to popcorn and soda. So, yeah. Now, the next game we have is the um, Cowboys, the Eagles. This one, yeah, pick the Eagles. If I had to have a second lock of the week, it would be the Eagles defeating the Cowboys. The Cowboys are just a complete and utter disaster. They're terrible defensively. They, um, the Dak is out. Who knows about Carrot Top? Maybe he's back. Maybe he won't be. So then you're down to the third string quarterback and what kind of crap is that? So, yeah. I mean, the Cowboys had to score a lot of points to have a chance of winning. And to do that, they had to have Dak. Which they will not for the rest of the year. And now the last one we have is the Buccaneers at the Giants. I don't think I'm fooling anybody here when I say, yeah, go with the Buccaneers. Tom Brady. I think Tom Brady has arrived. He had a great week last week. The Giants have yet to have a great week. I mean, even when they won that one time, um, and that was against the Washington football team. Yeah. No. No. So, um, so that's what I have for you. What do you guys think? You like those picks? Do you like the fact that I actually finally had a good week at 10 and 4? And maybe, I mean, these look like some pretty solid picks here, you know? I mean, you know, Tom Bunch would probably think they're solid picks, I would assume. One of my buddies. And uh, who is a um, Steelers fan and probably is chagrined. That's the third time. Chagrin that I have picked the Steelers to win. So, um, and yet I'm, you know, setting up my two win, two way win situation with the Bears again by picking them to lose. And then if they lose, I get the pick right. And if they win, hey, the Bears get a win. So, you know, um, yeah. And Big Ten football's back, like I said. Love it. Love it. So, yeah, I mean, things are starting to look up. Um, so yeah, no upset specials this week because, hey, you know, I was born at night, but it wasn't last night and none of these games deserve an upset special. So that's what I got. Leave a comment below. You know the, the drill. Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Share it with other people that are football fans that may not know anything about me. 
Um, and, although at this point, it's hard to believe that there's anybody that fits that description in the, the entire country, but you know, maybe. So anyway, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.